And he's going to catch a nine of diamonds. Are you kidding me? That's a card. You couldn't have imagined a better card. He just hit the straight with the open-ended straight flush draw and happened to make Marchese top two pair. Yeah, this is amazing. He's checked it beautifully into Marchese. Tom with a nice 180K aggressive bet here. Come on. Quick raise by Dave Peters with just a jack eight of clubs. Let's see if he gets action. It's around the horn to Jake, who has an 8-6 of diamonds. Yeah, he's 100% calling. Jake splashes around, came in as the short stack here tonight. He's moved his money up to about 220 in chips. Still the short stack making this call. So here we go with the flop. It's an ace, 10, 9, two diamonds. What a flop for Jake. A straight and a flush draw, except if the seven comes for a straight, he loses. So he doesn't really have a straight and a flush draw. He has a straight and a six draw. Dave Peters open-ended, raised before the flop. And there he goes with the bet of 20,000. And Jake, 28 years old. All in. And there he goes, all in. Can he make this work? Can David lay this down. I think this is a hand you could fold. I think this is a hand you could call with. I'd slightly prefer the fold here. Remember that it was just a few hands ago All in. where David lost a huge pot, bluffing off his money with queen nine. That might influence his thinking a little bit. Wow, he is going to call. He's going to gamble. He's going to turn it up, and actually, he's in front at this point. Very funny, <laughs> weird hand these guys put all the money in, and Jack High is the best hand. What? Six of clubs is the action card here. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's chips on the line, and a four on the turn doesn't help. Jake taking a chance on a straight and flush draw. Can he double up a third time? Going to the river, it's an eight. Wow, so that's gonna do it for Jake Shinley. He's out of here. He's out, yep, and he needed a six or a diamond. That's right, he's gonna take over 108,000. And just like that, we are down to four players. Oh my goodness. Tom or Casey with close to 2.5 million in chips. Dave Peters in second chip position, looking good. Breaking Jake there with about 1.4. He attended Bowling Green University, dropped out to play poker online. And now he strives to be the best poker player in the world. Looking good, four players remain, here we go. This is Sam with a nice suited connector, gonna make it 30,000 to go. Tom out, Aaron out. So David Peters with a king five of hearts. Just broke a player, now what do you do? He's hopping in 100% with King-5 suited. Yeah, he's gonna call it. Hope to get lucky. Sam with an attractive 9-8 of clubs. Let's see what happens. It's a Queen-9-7. Hitting Sam with the nines. He's gotta check into him. I think it's gonna go check, bet, fold. Well, Sam is going to bet the nines. No surprise there. Quick fold by Dave Peters. Phil Helmuth. 15 World Series bracelets. A lot of titles. It is fun to be sitting here with you. I'm having a good time, Vince. Yes. I really am. Analyzing this. Mm -hmm. You wish you were down there? You like this kind of action, don't you? I do. And there's there's some excellent players there. David Peters has had, a, had an amazing record the last few years. Tom Marchese, a great player. And look at this, Dave Peters now. Loose that last hand with a 9-6 this time. Going to stay involved and call it. And Sam with an ace-10 behind him. He called, and I think Sam is going to raise it up. I wouldn't be surprised if he raised it 30,000 more, just a pure guess. Yep, he's starting to get on a little bit of a rush here. 
got a nice hand, and yes, he will make it 45 to go. 31,000 more. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Very stubborn call. Well, these are the great poker minds, the younger ones playing, battling for a big title here, and the flop's an ace seven four, so Sam hitting aces. Dave sickened that he made that call, perhaps. Looks like another, well, no, not really. I mean, he's confident in his call. It's probably gonna go check, bet, fold. Well, there's the ace. He's not gonna play it slow. Quickly take it down the pot. This could be you. Get a free shot at winning a seat into a WPT main event at clubwpt.com. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT34. Look at this, six, seven of spades for David. Well, here's Aaron. Um, he has Jack-10. He just folded Ace-8 in the big blind, which I thought was a big mistake. He's in an obvious call situation, but he might fold this. What do we got? Married with three children, races cars, loves poker. No, he's not folding this. He's going to stick around with his Jack-10. Good call, Mr. Ogus. Jack eight do so. And he's been rewarded. He's flopped top pair. Here we go. Check. David Peters bets. And he calls. Well, he made the continuation bet. He is so aggressive. Raised before the flop. It's unimaginable that he wouldn't continuation right. bet here. 65,000. Aaron has worked for Microsoft for 25 years. He's going to make this call. Good he lives call. In the Seattle area. Five of diamonds on the turn. So now open ended there for David. Yeah, David went from having nothing, no pair, no draw, to boom, he has an open it straight suddenly. And David's very aggressive player. But they know that Aaron hasn't played too many hands tonight. 185. But look at this. 185,000. Wow. A very aggressive bet. Aaron has to call here, especially because he only called on the flop. He's beating all bluffs. He's managed to survive. He's got a lot of chips. Is he actually thinking about folding? Oh, boy, he is. He's going to fold his hand. David Peters turned an open-ended straight, and he made a very aggressive 185,000 bet. And let me tell you something. David Peters is making snowflakes turn into a snow cone. And, of course, the money. It's 135 for fourth and 189 for third. All right, action on Aaron. He's this time finally picking up a strong ace, queen of clubs. He's raised to 30,000. And he gets a fold. And now Sam also going out. Will he get action from the big cheese? Yep. With a 10-4 of hearts. Yes, he's going to splash around the pool. Make the call. 10-4, over and out, good That's buddy. That's right, hoping to bust out the non-pro. And the flop is a 9-5, deuce, two hearts. Really good flop for Tom Marchese, who's now a favorite. Aaron, not going to continuation bet now. The, oh, wow, hits the flush here for Tom Marchese. Slopping around with 10-4 of hearts, now makes, but he's going to try to trap. They both check. Yep. Oh, that card's going to cost Aaron some money for sure. Is Tom smart enough to check? Yes, great check. He's going for the check raise. Oh, what happened? Aaron didn't bet. So all those times where I yeah. don't like Aaron's plays, not defending all these hands, this time I think he made a mistake, but it saved him chips. There you go. What a great check on the river. Saved some money. Tom Marchese, he rolled his eyes, says, I hit the flush, and that's all I get? 
<laughs> he is stunned by that. Sometimes someone makes a play that's not very good, and it costs you money, and then some people might go all poker brat over it. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> Dave Peters now with King Queen has raised to 35, and now Tom Marchese, pair of aces at the perfect time. What a great spot for Tom, pocket aces. Oh, he went for the big re-raise here. Look at that. Wow, 115 more. He gives David a chance to actually fold here. It's a very aggressive tactic here. He's hoping that oversized raise looks like a weaker hand. Yeah. Mixing up his game beautifully. Peters, though, with a solid king-queen. He can afford to make this call. He's in second chip position with 1.4 million in chips, and he's going to make this call. Man, hard to fold king-queen in a four-handed game. However, I mean, the raise was so much. Look at this flop, Phil. King, three, two. So kings for Dave Peters. What a amazing flop for Tom. There's a deuce and a three and a king. He doesn't really have to worry about his opponent having a beat unless it's a set of deuces or a set of threes. Very safe flop. And he's, he's setting up the trap. He's checked. And he's now checked. Peter's hitting top pair. Also checking. He's also nice trapping check. a little bit. Nice check. Four on the turn. Two spades, two clubs out there. And let's see what Tom Marchese does here with 330,000 in the pot. I'd like to see a bigger size bet now because David's going to call you if he has a king or a draw anyway. Well, it's 250. I like the bet size, 250. David is going to have to call here. Tom made that oversized raise before the flop with the aces gets called. Dave might think he's in front. Top pair, queen kicker. He's going to make this call. Really hard to fold king queen in this spot. I mean, I think I think you just have to call. I mean, let's see what happens on the river. Oh, seven of hearts. What a beautiful card for Marchese. Now, he's looking at his opponent, who now has about a million in ships right now. And so if you're Tom Marchese, you're thinking, OK, if he has a king, how much will he call? I don't know, I'd like to see an aggressive 600K bet. All in. Well, he is going to push all in. All he wants in. it all. I think that's a pretty aggressive bet. I think he bet a little bit too much. Yeah, but here's the thing, Phil. These guys go way back. They know, and I've seen Tom Marchese make the same type of bet with a bunch of chips in the same situation with nothing, zip and pip. Be a great fold if he could. Well, if he folds, he still has a million fifty against two guys that have, what, 700 that are very, one of them very inexperienced. Yeah, but you don't want to be stolen. Oh, he called! He is making this call. It's going to be over for him. Oh, I hate the call. But you're right. There's some history here. I mean, these guys play against each other all the time in high rollers, and maybe that's why he called. This could be you. Get a free shot at winning a seat into a WPT main event at clubwpt.com. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT34. Well, well put there, raw deal Tony Dunst. But right now, Tom Marchese out in front with four million in chips. Sam Saverell in second chip position with 732. Aaron Ogus, 657. Down to the felt we go. Action going to the big cheese. Tom Marchese, the chip leader. Let's take a look at his hand. Wow, he's got a pair of wired tens here. Gotta like it, makes it 40 to go. Wow, Aaron playing the four three of clubs suddenly. Now remember, he folded and folded and folded and folded. Now that's one theory. Fold yourself all the way into the final three players. <laughs> well, he's calling, hoping to get lucky. Now he's at the final three. Now he's trying to win it. Let's see what happens. It's a queen, jack, deuce. So no help for Aaron. Well, wait, Phil, what's this? What just happened? It's going to take a stab at it. What just happened? 
<laughs> he is gonna bet. He's using his really oh. tight reputation and image to go ahead and make a nice bet. That's well right. done, Aaron. Well, the Good race bet. car driver is shifting gears, so to speak. I heard you. He's, yes, he's going to make some bluffs here. <laughs> so, you know, don't count him out. He has a lot of levels, as we're seeing. I mean, he can get some cheers back at the Microsoft buffet line. <laughs> With that move, <laughs> is there such a thing? <laughs> Look at this, Sam with the pair of kings. Wow. So the trick is to me to raise Aaron in. Don't raise him out, he's just dead. Pretty strong raise, but Aaron now getting confidence. Saying if I could win with 4-3, I could certainly win with a king 10 of spades. Yep. He's in bad shape. Well, actually, not too bad. Look at Open that. Open-ended flop for wow, Aaron. Wow, you start with king, 10 against kings, and somehow you're 30% on the flop? Wow. Sam's betting 80,000. I'd like to see him bet more here, you Both know? got about the same amount of chips here. And Aaron wants to play. Do you have more chips than me? I don't know. I want to see him bet more because you know you're getting called with a queen or a jack or a draw anyway. And he got it, he's going to get Are the ace. Are you kidding me? Wow. Are you kidding me? He's got the straight. Sam with a good check. Oh my goodness. Aaron just grabbed his chips and threw 175,000 in. Did you see that? Yes. It's like, wow, study, study for 10 or 15 seconds. Don't just shove in 175 quickly. They know how tight you've been playing. They've seen it. No disguise to the game. Sam can probably get away here. He's seen him check down aces just a few hands ago on the river. Good fool. What does Helmuth say? I'll take this one, you get the next one. That's exactly <laughs> what I say. Thank you for the shout out. He's just doing reverse psychology, begging for a call. Right, he, he's, it's just, uh, it's just, <laughs> I think Sam, I really think Sam's going to fold here, and it's just, it's just too transparent. Uh, Sam's not sure how he's beat, but he's going to think somehow ace, queen, or ace, jack. He can't imagine king, ten. It's a, I think it's a, in this situation, a pretty routine fold, but Aaron's going to take that pot. He hit the right card, did a little table talk. He's got to be feeling good. Ah, now did you make up that quote or is that something you heard from Doyle or someone? I you, made you that up at, at a main event, basically playing on television, and I started saying, I'll take this one, you take the next one. I'd gotten it from Dewey Weem from about 2003, right. and every time I said it, they folded. <laughs> I so I just it. kept saying it. It was unbelievable. So every time I was bluffing, I'd say it, and then for balance, when I had it, I started saying it. I'll take this one, you take the next one. All right, we're into this hand. It's been raised by Marchese with a 9-7. Been called by Aaron and Sam. So three-way action here. 7-6 deuce. Right, and Marchese's flop top pair. Look for him to make a decent sized bet here. Yep, raised with the slop, gets top pair. Bet's gonna be 65. Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more. 65 is okay, and now Aaron's going to call with inside an straight overcard. Draw. Yeah. Two overcards and an inside straight draw. He needs an 8, 9, or a 10. And he's running good, so go with the rush. And he's going to catch a 9 of diamonds. Are you kidding me? That's a card. You couldn't have imagined a better card. He just hit the straight with the open-ended straight flush draw and happened to make Marchese top two pair. Yeah, this is amazing. He's checked it beautifully into Marchese. Tom with a nice 180K aggressive bet here. I'm all in. Gosh, he moved in so quickly again, though. It's just like, yeah, I did. have it, I have it. But but I don't think Marchese can fold because he can beat 9-6. He can beat uh, an over pair. He can beat sevens and sixes. And he can afford it. It's just it's just really hard to fold yeah, I here. Know. And he can afford it, and then he still has draw outs. Yep, he's called. He's got to make the call, but he's... Doesn't like it. No, and listen to this. He's down to four outs, two nines, two sevens, only 10%. Wow, you're going to double up Aaron Ogus or knock him out. But Aaron, a big favorite to do some damage against a top professional here. You want me to fold? 
No. That's... Stupid turn. Four of hearts. Aaron. Woo! This is the straight flush. The big cheese gets sliced up by the Microsoft man. Oh, this time, Sam picking up a real hand. Pair of nines. Nine balls on the button. He can't wait to get action here. He's hoping. Well, he's down to 325 in total chips, so he needs some help here. How much you have behind? Aaron with ace, deuce. I started with 325. Certainly, Aaron doesn't want to put in 20 big blinds with ace, deuce. I'm all in. He's going to oh. put him in. Yeah, he is. He did it. Oh, oh. Quick call by Sam. Oh, I don't blame it. Look, it might have worked. If Sam wasn't that strong, he's going to lay it down. They have a lot of respect for his hands. So it just so happens he has a pair of nines. But how does one know? Anyway, the money's in. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Flop is king 10 5. So no help for Aaron. You don't want to let Sam Savarol back in the tournament. You know what I'm saying? Running straight cards. <laughs> Any straight card. Any three, four, <laughs> jack or queen. <laughs> he wants some action at least. A three or four gives him a wheel draw, and a jack or queen gives him Let's a straight draw. See if draw. he gets. Oh no, it's the uh, nine. That's it. So we're. It is a wrap. Aaron's gonna double Sam up. Sorry, Tom. These guys aren't going anywhere. How much is it? Three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. Wow, Sam Savarell is back in the ball game. A tough player. They gave him some chips back, Vince. They certainly did. Three tough players. They all have chips, but the non-professional I'm very impressed with. There's a lot of levels to his game against two of the top young players. Very, very interesting.